Hey Hydro, David here and today I'm going to take you through the three most common errors that we see as personal coaches and three quick ways to improve them. So here we go. Number one, and you might be one of the people that feels like I can't get as much power out of the legs and everyone's talking about how you want to get so much out of that leg drive, right? It's about 60% of the power. And the reason why that might happen is because one of the common errors is we lean back as we're pushing the legs down. So we're not going to get the full power out of the legs if we're rowing with our body going back either with or before our legs do. So simple solution, make sure that we practice that proper sequence of legs, core, arms during the drive. Another very common mistake is pulling ourselves forward with our legs. So remember, on our way forward, it's called the recovery for a reason. We want to have a chance for those muscles to recover. So if we are back at the finish and we are pulling ourselves forward and we take another stroke and we pull ourselves forward, I want you to think about where our center of gravity is. If my body is still in that finished position, my center of gravity is back there. So I'm going to be pulling all of my mass forward by engaging my shins and my hamstrings. And that's not a recovery at all. In fact, that's going to be more work than we need to have. All right. So how do we make sure that we don't do that? Well, it's the exact opposite of what we just talked about with the order or sequence during the drive. We want to practice that proper sequence and order on the recovery, going arms, then core. And when my shoulders are in front of my hips, now my center of gravity is moving forward and it's going to be effortless to just let those knees come up to get back to the catch. Now the third and final most common error is over compressing our legs. All right, we are going to come up with our heels and we're going to get basically our hamstrings to our calves and we're going to get our knees as close to the front of the hydro and that seat right up by our heels. Now why is this not effective? All right, when we have the legs this compressed, we're kind of choking the muscles ability to work. But on top of that, look at what happens to my back. I really lose that strength in my core because my core is no longer straight and tight. So we want to think about having vertical shins when we get to the catch. So when I move forward arms and core, I let those knees just kind of float up and I halt myself when I get vertical shins. Notice how there's still a gap between my heels and my seat and I'm able to keep my heels a little lower than if I were to bend my knees all the way which would then pull my heels up and get my spine out of alignment. Now that we've gone over those three common errors and how to fix them, if you need additional help in order to improve on any or maybe all of those three things, there are instructional videos led by our awesome athletes on our Hydro and there are also a handful of videos that our personal coaches have made, specifically our legs only drill and our pause drills. If you have any questions, reach out to one of us and as always, we'll see you on the water.